Hey folks, Ron here at Oregon Hot Rod. In this video I'm going to be showing you uh, a, a process of just basic covering a panel. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just covering a, uh, a tabletop uh, with a, a upholstery and it's a process that you can use in all sorts of things. You can use it to do door panels, you know, back panels in your trunk, uh, uh, covering speakers, doing all kinds of stuff. So uh, it might be out of character for the automotive, but it's really not because it's just a, just a simple basic process of covering a panel. So keep watching, uh, give you a couple little tips on the cutting out and doing some other things. But uh, uh, I know it's kind of a dumb uh, video, but what the hell? Hey! Welcome to Oregon Hot Rod! Welcome to the Oregon Hot Rod Experience, where we're going to share information with you. We're going to show you our successes and our failures, our mistakes and our solutions. We'll go on adventures, we're going to build cars, we'll do shop projects, and we'll do a whole bunch more. But most of all, we're going to entertain you with reality and stupidity. So subscribe now and continue to watch your Hot Rod Experience. Smash that like button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. Hey folks, Ron here with Oregon Hot Rod. Uh, I'm going to do a stupid little video today. I've got a, a little uh, table here that uh, somebody left sitting out in the rain and it got all warped. And I've been using it to uh, help me do my videos. And uh, but the top is so bad here, I, it, it, everything, I put a cup of coffee on it and it falls over. And so that isn't going to work for me. So anyway, I've got the top detached from the frame. You can see this thing is just warped like a son of a gun in here. So I'm going to take, I've got these little brackets on here. I got to take off, I unscrewed it from the tape from the tabletop, but I need to uh, remove these little brackets. So they're pop riveted on there, so I'm gonna have to take a drill and I'm gonna have to drill all these things out of here. So, we'll get started on that, drill this thing out, and uh, then I've got a new tabletop to put together that I've already uh, uh, started to cut out. We'll get that cut out and uh, start getting this thing put together. I'm probably gonna re re redo this. Uh, upholstery on here as well because it's uh, uh, it's not bad but I don't think it's going to fit on my new piece of, of uh, material. Okay so I know most of you probably already know this but the easiest way to get a pop rivet out is just drill the head of it off. The way you do that is just get a bit that's a little bit bigger than the shaft of the pop rivet and uh, just drill it off and drill off the, uh, the part that overlaps that squeezes down. Anyway Let's see if we can't get some of these out of here. That sucks. This thing is spinning. So, we got a spinning one. What do we do? We get something to hold on to it. In my case, I'm probably just going to grab a pair of wire cutters and I think that'll hold on to them. Okay, so I got a, I got a little pair of uh, angled uh, needle nose pliers here and a pair of wire cutters. So if one of these don't work, I'm probably going to be screwed. So let's see what happens here. So it looks like my best option here is to kind of pry up under this. I could probably use a screwdriver and that would work just as well. I'm not sure you got a, 
Why is it always that you figure everything out on the last piece? There they are. That was too easy. Okay. We are ready to go cut out our piece. So uh, let's go set up, get set up to uh, cut out our new tabletop. Okay, so we got our uh, piece set up here, and uh, first thing we want to do is we want to lay out our, our piece that we've pulled off here, our tabletop. We want to lay it out on our uh, our material, get everything lined up, get our edges lined up, make sure it's all nice and square. We have the gaps around that we want and everything. Grab yourself a pencil and start working it off. case I'm going to do two different saws I'm going to use my regular uh, hands or uh, powered hand saw and I'm going to use a jigsaw so cut this all out so I'll grab those and we'll get started okay so we're all set up here uh, to cut out this wood a uh, couple of quick uh, piece of information here when you're cutting wood and especially plywood but pretty much with any kind of wood uh, if you can cut it from the back side if you have an ex a side that's going to be exposed or something like that cut it from the opposite side because what happens when a saw blade cuts it cuts on its upstroke it doesn't cut when it's going down cutting down keeps everything smooth but when it comes up it pulls all the, it gives splinters. So, best way to do it is cut it from the back side. I'm cutting this from the back side. Uh, I'm gonna, first, I'm going to just cut off the, the end here, get myself down to the, the, the short piece, and then I'll round off my edges and stuff. But uh, yeah, cut it from the back side if you can. If you can't, then uh, get yourself a really fine blade and go really slow uh, that does the less damage another trick is also to put tape along the line put some good tape along the line a uh, masking tape that also helps keep it from uh, splintering in so let's get this baby cut off also the blade rotates in a counterclockwise uh, rotation for safety reasons to keep the saw from running away from you or in other words running forward <laughs> step is to sand it down, make it smooth, and uh, start putting the cover back on it. Okay, so a nice cheap tool to get, six inch disc belt sander. 
does a whole lot of uh, good, saves a whole lot of elbow grease too. Put no pressure on this thing. No wonder they sold it to me for 20 bucks at the swap mate. <laughs> okay, I think that'll work. I think I've been better off to use a hand sander. Anyway, keep watching, learn a couple of things, watch us tear some shit up, or stuff up, excuse me, and uh, smash that like button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. Like OregonHotRod.com. Like OregonHotRod.com. And four years, we don't know what had happened because they still. <laughs>